Oh, you thought you were slick, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Well, let me explain something to you. As long as you live in my house, you gonna play by my rules. Do you understand? Well, you know, all that could change right now because we're gonna see what happens when I call the agents. Please shut the fuck up. You shut up while I'm talking with your fast ass self. That baby is a curse. You ain't shit, you know that? You just bringing another teen mom into this world. That's all you are, that's all your mama was, and that's all that baby is going to be.
Now this, this is our stone, Pisces. So I was born March 7th, so that makes me a Pisces. And you were born March 14th, just one week after me, so that makes you a Pisces. And our birthday's coming up real soon, ain't they? <laughs> Back in my body, I remember. I glance up at myself in the mirror and see myself clearly. From the instructions on the card from the family circle, I know I will only have a few moments in this memory. I spin around from the mirror to look at my daughter directly, who feels infinitely far away from me in the space between the dresser and the bed. It feels like I will not have enough time to reach her, but I ignore the feeling, walking slowly towards her, dragging light, matter, and all of my regrets. I finally make it over to my little girl. No sound will travel through this memory, so she will not hear me. Only light and image. I do not wish to frighten her, but I must warn her. I kneel down and kiss her on the forehead, mouthing the words to leave an impression in her brain. I love you. I am so sorry. Break the cycle. Do not open the box.
I woke up again this morning, knowing that I cannot leave this day. Yesterday, today, tomorrow is already the same. The days all melt into each other like disembodied memories struggling to embody the present. Ghosts searching for a body. These words are scripted, and I'm simply tracing the lines. Tomorrow, I will not wake up again. Thank you.